four stories doubling here. Uh, me and Paul are here. Obviously, Liam is behind camera as well. But Hello there. We are doing another interview today, Paul. We are, yeah. And yeah. Uh, I'm excited to say I got an old friend of mine back on. Many people, he's a, he's a gamer. So many people might know him as Ivo Shawis. He does a hell of a lot of Fortnite videos. He does a lot of gaming kind of videos. And he's doing really well for himself. So this is Brendan Spillane. As, as you call him, <laughs> uh, but as most people know him, it's Irish always, so it's good that you came on with us, and it's great to have you on with us. No problem. So, I hope you don't get too nervous with us, because oh, we're, no, we're actually with a crack look. Yeah. Now, realistically, the way we usually start most of our interviews, okay, we're going to kick into it and say, what made you get started on the yeah. side right, I want to do gaming videos? In other words, tell us your origin story. <laughs> yeah. Your origin story. So, um... Like it was always like a thing like at the back of my head like for, even from when I was about 12 you know sitting around watching gaming videos and all that and I was a big gamer when I was growing up and uh, it was always like I was always watching all these big YouTubes like I'd love to do that one day and then like when I went into event, sometime in secondary school I can't remember when but I tried to get started on it just as a little hobby mm. to do because as well as I was a bit bored just sitting around the house just didn't have any friends at the time <laughs> Until I met all you, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> we weren't that bad. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, it just started as a little hobby anyways and progressively just kept doing it. It was always a background hobby uh, for years throughout school. As we all know, leisure time is the best time. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, I was always, like, had, like, some sort of creative head on me as well. Like, I was always mad into drawing, loved art and all that. But I loved film as well and loved the whole process of it and... I wanted to kind of move, put that into gaming as well. So I tried to like elevate my uh, videos then by trying to make it more like a a film experience in a way, mm. by the way some of the scenes are shot and stuff. But then just kept going and going and progressing, getting new equipment, making it, improving it, and all that. And until last year, then where it eventually it all paid off and took off. And it was last year, quite a kickstart. Yeah, yeah, March of twenty twenty two, it all just picked off then from there and just completely changed like my whole life then from then on how many years have you been doing it started as the hobby in 2016 2016 yeah mm. good it, question how many keyboards did you smash in order to achieve that level of success <laughs> i think i only actually smashed one because i have a cupboard now full of old keyboards that still work but just i just get, got bored of them and like i need a new one <laughs> so you're finding like crashing some of them one day eventually depends on what the situation is but six years of hard going and now you've kind of gotten to the point where you, paying off you're literally yeah no like as quote, a, paying off like yeah because i put like back then like i was working in a part-time job and barely making enough every month and any bit of money i did i had i was putting into new equipment and stuff like that like yeah. like recorders and all that to record gameplays and new microphones and stuff like that and it was pretty hard but my mom helped me out as well because she was like if it's a hobby and you really enjoy it like i'll help you out go for it look yeah. yeah so she did that and, you know she helped me get my first microphone and stuff like that and from then on then i just kept that as a hobby going and it didn't really do much then for the first few years, but it was still, it was grown, but yeah. just not like that mad rate around. But yeah, you learned a lot of skills along the way, didn't you? There was, yeah, definitely, because like... That was the thing, like when I watched your, your stuff on YouTube, you have everything done right. Like everything is, looks right. There's no different. flaws. There's whatsoever. no flaws, like there must be so much work that goes into them videos. Yeah, see as well, like with, because I'm doing long form content now, which is obviously a lot like, full length maybe eight to ten minute videos and it's a bit harder to do those these days because of the way tiktok is yes because a lot of people's attention spans is kind of for 15 30 seconds like. yeah it's like the deal i mean they'll click off it really quickly all yeah. full length video because they'd rather watch that's the new generation that's that's the new generation yeah, yeah. exactly so what i have to like learn as well is how do i keep somebody watching for as long as possible and like then i, I was in college then in bali firma um i was doing a film course and it was kind of like if you won't watch it yourself, how do you expect other people to watch it? No, right opinion, yeah. As well as that, because my target audience is obviously a little bit younger. Yeah. Make sure there's something always kind of jumping out of the screen. So, you know what I mean? so was making gaming videos an easy way to learn about the aspects of filmmaking for you? Yeah, definitely, because there, like, the way I do my videos, it wouldn't be like a traditional, your typical gaming YouTuber in a way. So it's like I'm doing the commentary over the, the <coughs> gameplay, so the gameplay is recorded separately, and then I talk over everything. But I do have like cinematic shots and stuff that I have to get myself in the game and all that, like you know, famous shots and all that you can think of in filmmaking. 
it was all an evolution. So when when you saw a mistake on your videos, you kind of yeah, like so you learn as you go as well. Like that's one of the big processes of any content creation as well. I found is like you know learn your mistakes and try to learn them as early as possible, and then fix them, and then also try to improve from them. Like you know what I mean, try to think of something different as well. You know what I mean? Every single time because. Otherwise, then when people are watching your videos, they're kind of expecting the same thing. So in a way, if you do something different as well, then you can kind of catch them by surprise, and then they'll be like, okay, right, I'm a bit more interested now. So, you know, right. kind of just improving and, and, you know, I mean, trying to do something new as well as works out a bit well for me anyways, I figured out. That's good, that's good. So, it's I Rush Always. How did you come up with that now? Oh, so... From 2016 on until late 2018, I had multiple different channel names and I was trying to make my mind up on them. I kept one for a few months and I was like, all right, I'm gonna keep it as this one. What was that? Oh, the very first one was Killer Muffins. It's the only one I can actually remember. And I thought it was Daily Dave at first, but then... It is good. Yeah, <laughs> I like you. And then I don't know what it was then. It kind of clicked me. I was like, I don't want the word killer. So for your second name, did you try and come up with a name as deadlier as Killer Muffins? I, I didn't want to, like, I wanted to get the word killer out of there completely. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it was. I was just thinking, I was like, if this goes off, and I was just don't want to have some sort of negative light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want the word killer in there anyways. A, for a, a mate of mine, his gamer name for years, like, he was a college, before he had kids, he could play Call of Duty for hours on end, you know? And uh, his name was the Kneecap and Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, where did you go up with that? That's why I'm the kneecap. No, it's not. No, my was what? My gamer name was Dean is God. <laughs> <laughs> so seriously, and then I stopped playing for a while, and then I made a new one because I couldn't remember password for it. So I made a new one, and this one was called Dean is back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I resurrected oh, from the dead like I'll never, uh, I couldn't have never had a channel name out of my very first username anyways because I remember I first started playing on PlayStation and the very first name I had was Arsbicky. Oh my god! <laughs> what? What <a> history! <laughs> so you got Irish always. Eventually. Eventually, yeah. Jordan that you walked out a logo as well, didn't you? I did. Um so I made the logo at first like just using an app on my phone. I'm pretty sure it was Pixart or right, something. Right, yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. And I just kind of slapped something together. And at the time I was like, This is dead, you know? And then at the time then I a little bit further down the line I started making a bit more money off YouTube, but it wasn't anything crazy or anything like yeah. that. And I was probably getting paid maybe every four to five months. Right. And then as soon as I had enough then I paid for a professional logo. Uh, off like a designer yeah and he came out then with the monkey that I have now I love that do you ask for a monkey I asked for a blue monkey <laughs> did you yeah. you actually asked for a blue monkey yeah. yeah why did you come up with the blue monkey so, alright so first like blue the, the kind of blue that's in the logo it's like a baby blue it's like my favourite colour yeah and then my favourite animal monkey yeah I don't know, like it doesn't really correlate to the name Russian, but yeah, I was yeah. just I was just headset on it, you know. And then you became Monkey Mafia for Monkey the Monkey Mafia for the Discord and stuff like that. So it's a good name. Yeah. But that, that's how it works with so many YouTubers like with with their logos and stuff like that. Yeah. If you look at like here, Mr. Beast and stuff like that, like yeah. he has it's like a panther or something. Yeah, it's a panther with like a little shield uh, uh, a shield the on light, the pink lightning bolts yeah. kind of has around. that recognizable iconic brand that just immediately captures viewers. Like, yeah, yeah. You look at that brand and you say, Yes, I know that channel. Yeah. But what I find harder, because when we've been kind of thinking of our logo, <coughs> we kind of have our logo at the minute, but you know yourself, as evolution goes on, you kind of yeah. you kind of change things up a bit. Exactly. Yeah. But it's like you kind of think of something right, what way would we put the logo? Or like, right, what what could we do with, with let's say four stories? Like, what can what can we what what can we put a logo in for this? Like, yeah. Or, yeah. or then you said we we change the name again, four stories. So then it's like, right, so we could do something Irish with it, you know? What yeah. I mean? Representing, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it gets hard because you're thinking of something with that name, but you're not thinking out with the box, bro. Right? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I get what you mean. That's what I'll actually give you the name of the guy who done my one. Oh yeah. And this fella is actually really good. And what you'll do is you'll look at your name and you'll give it all these different ideas for unique ways to get a logo. Really? And the, you know the message of what you're doing as well across in the logo. And he does a really good job and he has a portfolio and all that and that's Send that on to you. Yeah. To check him out. Yeah. 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 Are you friends with him? Yes. Uh, I haven't talked to him since I got the logo done. But give him a shout out yeah. anyway. Come on. Shout uh, Hey Rob. 
Hey, designs. Hey, drop the designs. Hey, drop, come design our new logo, please. <laughs> we need you. So, I rush always. Like, because I, I googled it because I did, some, did a bit of little research before. It kind of came up as an anxiety <clears throat> thing. Did it? Yeah, yeah, it was all about how you deal with anxiety, and I thought, oh, it's, it's this weird. Like, yeah. yeah, so I thought that, that was. I've me. never seen this myself, though. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's got to go home and start googling. <laughs> I rush always. <laughs> there was like people saying that the. Um, I rush always the word like say, um, like I do lists and I have to get it done and I've list anxieties. Oh, and all or yeah. like, yeah, I get what you mean there with us. Yeah, um, yeah. It's kind of like a someone looking up on Google if they have if they're sick or something like yeah. that. It's like. I rush always. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Then you've got it as one word, though. You eventually get. And what made you pick? Like, your if you look on your channel, okay? As you obviously we know, look, you're the game, you're a gamer channel, like, yeah. Yeah. What made you just decide to pick with just Fortnite? Like, I, like I know you're doing different videos as well. Yeah. You know, and the time you kind of probably kicked off, I'd say that's probably when Fortnite was big. It was actually the complete opposite. So. I started making videos, like I used to make Call of Duty videos, but then I realised I wasn't actually that good at Call of Duty. My Minecraft as well, if I remember. I, no, I never touched Minecraft. Did you not? No. No, no I was never in No it. way. Yeah, I'm probably going to get loads of hate for that, but never, <laughs> never touched the Minecraft. Yeah, no, I used to play a lot of Call of Duty, but I tried to make videos on it, but it just wasn't good enough or entertaining enough for it. Most people that do the Call of Duty ones, it's, it's not really YouTube. Most of them go with the likes of Twitch and stuff. Yeah, you know, they're that, obviously streaming and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's how they, they mainly do that one. Yeah, thing. so then uh, Fortnite then obviously came out and it was starting to peak in the popularity of it. Like, It's not fault, guys. It's not among us. <laughs> I was playing that and I did enjoy it and then I was like, great, I'll try to make videos on this because this is around the time and everybody was making videos on it. Mm. And obviously the competition was really high back then. And it was that probably like as well was made ha- like back then the videos weren't as good like when you start off your videos are great yeah, yeah so the you, quality yeah. of them wasn't where I wanted them to be and then obviously all these other creators and all that were you know like you're watching their stuff and you're like oh how come my camp be yeah that like, like some ninja and all like this was his, his prime time yeah but, but I kept playing for it because I, I I genuinely do enjoy it like you know yeah. every now and again now with small portions <laughs> and I still play it now and I was still making videos on it because it was just. Like it was a game I enjoy, and like I was, was it was it was kind of easy to make content on it in a way as well. And how many videos for it did it take for the views to actually kind of hit a height where you said I might actually continue on with this as to where this could actually be a breaking point for me here? So this was March uh, 2022. Towards the end of February, I uploaded one video, and then it went over to my friend's house, and I didn't think much of the video because at this point I was. You know, I wasn't maybe maybe a few hundred views. I went to my friend's house and I was getting notifications all over my phone and I checked it and the video was just kind of rising and I was like, what's going on here? Like this video is like doing a lot better than all my other videos. And when that happens, it kind of has you puzzling as if like, yeah, it, like what was what? different about That's that it. video like, to the previous video. Here? Yeah, I was like, what did I do here to, for this to happen? Like, And I kept looking at it and I was like getting really excited because the numbers, like at this point it was, um, it had like 8,000 views in the first hour and a half God. and then eight, eight and a half thousand views and then I kind of stopped looking at my phone because I was like I, I've seen videos get that many views before but then they kind of die off eventually yeah. yeah and how did you feel when you first discovered the news that your videos were blowing up did you have like this oh god yeah in this anxiety kind of way or oh god yeah. in this anxiety I was just like my like, heart was racing in a way and then I put my phone away and I stopped looking at it I was like the video was probably going to die off whatever yeah and then I went home went to bed Woke up the next morning, the video was on 300,000 views. Jesus And I was Christ. like, I was like, what just happened? Like, and I, I was very confused and shocked. And my subscribers was obviously jumped up, took a big jump. Can I ask you a question? Was it the same format, the same everything? You know what it was? And this is 100%. What's the difference? At this point, um, I was doing YouTube and I was like just doing it as a hobby but I really did want to make it a job at some point and I just kept putting because I'm surrounded like all my other friends and all that mostly from the UK, they all have really high subscriber counts. Yeah. They work for themselves off YouTube. You know, they were always kind of pushing me to just keep uploading, just keep, you know, just keep trying to improve and you'll eventually get to, you'll eventually get there. And I said to myself, like at this point, I was barely making any money in my part-time job. I was a bit struggling with money and stuff like that. So I was like, I need to either put this step, my head down with this for at least another three to four months. And if it doesn't Make work- Make or break. Yeah, if it doesn't work out, I need to like you know lay it to rest and you know go out and try and find a proper job as well like a full time job mm. with a steady income. But that hurts more though. Yeah, no, it, it hurt. Like I was like, 
I, you know, I was panicking as well because like, I don't want to stop doing it. Yeah. But I put my head down with it and like a month later then that video happened. So then I uploaded it again. That video got like 400,000 views. Then I uploaded a third video and that video then was the one that's now my highest viewed video on my channel with 2 million views. 2 million? <laughs> yeah. So then from at that point I had 30,000 subscribers by the end of February of 2022. And then two weeks later, then I had 120,000. Within the space of two weeks, Within nearly 100,000. Yeah. Within the space of two weeks. And then I was like, you know, my mom said to me, she was like, if you want to leave your job, at least wait until you hit 100,000 subscribers. Because, you know, you know, it could be just Not a short often first. your mother says that Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? You know, my job, like I was in that job for five years and, yeah. you know, I wasn't. Great guys. <laughs> no. Great deals. <laughs> Great but, places. Um, yeah, you know, I just I wasn't happy in the job and I was always calling sick because I just didn't want to go away. Don't blame me, yeah. And um, she was like, if you want to leave your job, at least wait until you get 100,000 just in case it's just a short burst and then it's over yeah. after that. And then I hit 100,000 a short, few short days later. And then I was... Quit. I quit, basically, yeah. And, and did you quit, quit respectfully or... Did you, uh, did you basically have like an elaborate way of saying, I quit? So I actually quit, <clears throat> but yeah, I went... It was, I, I'd called in sick the week before and I'd call, I had a really bad track record for calling in sick to that job. But, and I was there for five years, they just know. And they probably thought you, till the mountain nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, they, they, so uh, the, the manager at the time said, oh, I mean, you need to have a meeting about your attendance next week. And at this point I was like, I oh, know I'm leaving next week. So I had me, uh, I printed out my notes, I had a video on my phone somewhere. And I had me notes saying whatever, I'm, my final days, whatever, and <clears throat> the picture at the bottom was of SpongeBob saying, I, "I'm a head out." <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a video of it on my phone. Are you serious? Yeah. And Did I, you actually do the fucking figures like? No, it was the, the one. Where is it? I'll actually have to find this for you because. I remember. You know, you I do remember. I went into the shop. I remember the missus was actually pregnant, right? And she was craving yeah. these chocolates. So I went into the yeah. and he was there. I was like, oh, what's the crack? How's, how's work? How's the job? Oh, I'm leaving. I was like, why are you leaving? Like, to be honest with you, between me and you, like, I'm getting good money hard. online now, so I don't <laughs> need to be here anymore. What? There's uh, me handing me notes and deals. Best interest of my career. Oh, I feel that. Oh, we'll have to put that onto the <laughs> screen. <laughs> My time at the store will be memorable for many years and please be assured that I have put a lot of time into my shit. I I'm a head out. <laughs> <laughs> that is so you a, are a creative person. That is the best way I have ever seen anyone hand in notes. We'll put it up on screen now for you, but that is fantastic. <laughs> no, I did take the idea of somebody on the what the someone else posted it, but I was like, I have to do this. What are the chances that your boss will come across this channel or this video? They all knew about it in that job, like they knew like they were always calling sick, he's probably doing a video or something like that and they were like every time I went in they were like, How are you not sacked yet? Like how he's <laughs> not gone. I generally find if you want the job it's hard to keep. But if you don't want the job, they, it's like they keep you as punishment. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm the same myself. I've done everything for the first, like I'm in my job about four, I've, I'm in the job about four years. For the whole first year, like, I was calling sick of our stupid stuff. Yeah. I was telling them absolute rubbish and they're buying it. And, sure. then, and then they, they're they, probably listening. They give me a pay rise and everything. I'm like, what are you doing? According to my job anyways, it's like, my nanny and granddad died about six times over. Like, you know, oh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Do you remember the Irish player that got caught for that? There was an Irish player that got caught. He didn't turn up for the match and he said his granny died. And then he looked into it and his granny did die in 96. <laughs> <laughs> well, he didn't lie. <laughs> and so it became a big thing now, Fortnite and all. Now, your life must be consumed with keeping up on the updates and everything. Yeah. Yeah? There must, there's work put in. Yeah, no, there definitely is as well. Like it's like it's, all, it's at the same time it's all about chasing the trends. You know, like that's realistically what you're kind of aiming for as well. You know what I mean? Like, if, it, it guarantees you're gonna maybe get some views, but as well as that, you kind of want to do some other stuff as well. Like what I'd like evergreen videos if you're familiar with them. There are videos you can post like. That will get views no matter what time of the year it is. Evergreen. Oh, evergreen! Never heard of that. that Ever, evergreen would be the likes of how-to videos because how, yeah. everybody, everybody looks up at how-to and yeah, how to do to to change a plug type of thing. Yeah, you know what I mean, right. like if somebody you put a video how to change a light bulb, you probably get. I remember you telling me that. I'd asked her for your opinion. 
last year for the likes of the SEOs and stuff. Yeah. And th- that's exactly what you're telling me. Like, if you actually look up, like, how to fix the light bulb and stuff like that, people, and I was like, I'm looking at myself and I'm saying, that, and like, like, millions of views each video yeah, have. Yeah, like, these, these, these videos are going to keep getting views because. Some people just like it's you know, so simple. And look, yeah, it's exactly. something simple, but like it's and sometimes you watch it a few times because you forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, it's you know pretty ironic. Like. Yeah, no, like, that's what I mean. Like they're the evergreen videos, and they're good to get out as well. I have a criticism against them, right? When they say, right, okay, to change a light bulb on let's say a Toyota Corolla, they always film the easy side. They never <laughs> fill up the hard sights. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I always notice. Because I watch the video go, grab this guy, take me two minutes. It's because as soon as somebody sees the hard part, they're not doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a really easy method. Just ask five spin of crash. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Their master classes of it. The sort of stuff they come out with is absolutely shocking. Yeah. Their master classes of shocking content. <laughs> I think I've seen them. They're those that are like, yeah. like pointless life stupid stuff. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. stupid yeah. stuff. Decorate your toilet <coughs> and all. <Yeah. laughs> now, with YouTube, like, right, with the way you're growing on it, do you feel nowadays, like, as you already mentioned with the looks of your TikTok and stuff, do you find it very hard to kind of still kind of keep up with YouTube now? Like, do you feel like many people aren't really watching YouTube any much? They're watching TikToks Twitch. or their, their Twitch or their, like, there's so many different ones. And as you said, it, each video is about 15 seconds, 30 seconds long. So if someone's going on to YouTube to watch them, they say, oh, well, I can't sit here and watch this for five, I don't have five minutes. But they sit there for five minutes watching 50 other video, 15 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, like, that's definitely a thing to keep, like, obviously, keep the attention span, you know, keep your video active, keep giving, you know, delivering new information and stuff popping up out of the screen, you know what I mean? Just kind of keep everything in the video active. That's, like, a big thing for it. And, and there's one thing about Fortnite that, or no, it, it seems like you're doing the same subject again. It kind of is a cultural sponge, isn't it? It, it absorbs anything that's popular. Yeah. Do you know definitely. what I mean? Like if the Marvel videos, Marvel film is popular, They'll, people want to play as yeah. a Marvel character for his... Yeah, so that's... Travis Scott as well. He, yeah, there's stuff going on with him. And then, and then what they decided to do was actually perform a live concert. So Travis Scott was actually singing, but it was an animated version. like And... I always watch the videos and people was running over to, to go over yeah. to see a big huge Travis Scott they, singing yeah. and all. They're, 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 they're to be like the really good, like the visuals on them, the, those kind of concert events that they do and stuff. They had one there the other day actually for the Kid Leroy. They look pretty cool, like you know what I mean? And they obviously, a lot of people get excited about them. So obviously then for the, on the build up to that then I'll make videos about it, on, you know, new information about it and what's going to be a part of it and you know, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, people yeah. are always just curious to see what's going to be happen like mm. it, it, it definitely takes whatever trend is going on or whatever yeah. is popular yeah definitely are you planning on ever switching up your channel like you're doing like obviously you're doing your Fortnite at the minute and that's going fantastic for you like that's yeah. that's like how many subscribers are you on at the minute 272,000 272,000 that was a trick so, so what do you plan for the 300,000 is there do you, do you mark an occasion for it or? I haven't I've thought about it I haven't do you smoke a cigar <laughs> whiskey you whiskey yeah. that you're not going to tell us sit, <laughs> sit down and look at daddy how's work you peasant <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought of anything yet on how we're going to celebrate it, but um, in terms of just the, the content I'm making at the moment, it's all just solely Fortnite. But eventually, like obviously, Fortnite's not going to last forever. But no. it's the same with any game. I feel like at the the way Fortnite is right now is the way Minecraft was, where it still Minecraft's still popular now. Yeah, but it's Hell, not. It's not. It's past its peak. Now. It's past its peak, but it's still. People Minecraft, still play it. It's still one of the more popular games in the world. It's, it's huge in the Lego range. Look, you love all yeah. the kids. When you know when there's Lego selling on shelves, that that thing is popular because yeah. they stop making something if it's not popular. Yeah, exactly. Like it's Minecraft is still at its like peak. At the, like at the moment, like it's still in the top. I say top ten played games. Yeah. With like concurrent players, like and Fortnite is up there as well, and it just keeps changing everything. They just completely overhaul the game every single, like every few months they just change it because they know obviously people are going to get bored of the same yeah, thing yeah. so that if they keep on doing that then you know the game will continue on for a while but Grand Theft Auto has been constantly redeveloped yeah they get the uh, 6 game yeah that's, yeah that's plans I want to eventually do some Grand Theft Auto 6 videos but I can't touch off Grand Theft Auto 5 anymore 
after how much they milked it. Yes. Because yeah. I just I got bored of everything in it. Like yeah. no yeah, matter what new so, card. So many stuff like I yeah. believe it or not. I, I always played the game ever since it came out, but I only completed the game last year. Yeah. Coming soon in 2016, <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PlayStation 10. Literally, yeah. they just keep remastering and it's just, it's not much, like, you know what I mean? They'll never add too much to it. And so, but, like, you'll be looking to switch up your channel a bit. Yeah, like, you know? eventually, you know what I mean? Because like, obviously, I'm going to get. Will you run more. it as a separate channel? Is that a better way? Now, I do have a sec- uh, separate channel, uh, which is just Irish Always 2. Yeah. And what I plan to do on that is just start playing any other game that's not Fortnite. But I'd like to kind of make it a, like a Let's Play channel. Oh, so, so someone gives you it says, this is a cool game out there and you play it. Yeah, I'll play and it. you give your like opinion. A, do a playthrough of the, the, the story, like for example, like a story related game. There's some of the stuff Angry I actually joke. see on the Facebook as well. You know, you have some of the gamers, they have themselves in the bottom left corner. But they'll have some of the games being played. They're yeah. testing it out in a sense, you could say. Yeah. Like I see a lot of them and they're using this horror games and stuff like that. Yeah, you know, the horror mean? games are I think it's big the, the, the biggest one at the minute I do watch of one like that is uh, the Resident Evil one. Yeah. yeah. The Resident Evil, they, what is it? The Village. 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 Yeah. Village. Yeah. Well, the one with the tall vampire. Yes. That, I'm seeing a lot of that and there's a lot of people recording themselves playing that. And, yeah. Do you um, know what I mean? They have, the, the horror games, they have a great audience because... I've noticed that a lot lately. Like, people love watching other people. People either hate yeah. horror or love horror. Yeah. They oh, either so look what, they either want to watch 15 horrors in a month yeah. or they won't watch one. Yeah. 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 Fan of the horror, but people will be more inclined to watch other people play horror games because they like seeing the reactions most definitely of the players there isn't playing it it's hilarious you ever seen it, some yeah, reactions yeah and, 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 like, and, stuff. and it's, it's the thing like how do you have a, a not course playing Mortal Kombat and get annoyed to get <laughs> angry <laughs> do you know what I always got angry over FIFA I broke. I'm not even lie. I broke my hand one on the on one New Year's Day years ago over FIFA. I broke my hand. I was in hospital. I had to get. I had to get uh, things in my hand. And everything over. I could never play FIFA. I couldn't play any sports games. So every everything was like either a shooting game or an adventure yeah, game or like, anything. Like, what well, I'm planning on actually starting the Irish Always Two one I think next week. Yeah. And um, for the release of. Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, you've been thinking again. This, this, that is a sliding and sleeper that is just people don't realise how big that's going to be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I've only seen, like, I, I wasn't really, in, I'm not really a big It's Harry an open world. world. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a big it's Harry Potter big, fan. It's big whether people like it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. No. But then, what kind of had me sold on it was Simon Pegg as the only voice for the principal in it. As <laughs> Dumbledore. It, it's not Dumbledore, it's like... It's someone else, is Someone it? else, it's like set it's, the past. Said I wouldn't be a Hardy Potter fan, and I wasn't from the start. I just thought, but I do recognise there's a lot of people. You know where you get Star Wars fanatics. Yeah, that's their Star Wars. Yes, yeah, Yeah. or that's their team. They ran out the Hardy Potter films, and they've realised we need to give stuff because people want it. Like Lego was doing huge amount of Harry Potter yeah. stuff yeah. you can have a the Harry Potter village at this stage yeah. yeah, it's a huge thing it definitely is like I mean I, I'm not like as I said I'm not a big Harry Potter fan but yeah. the world and the, like what I've seen so far it looks like it looks great like you know it, the it looks like they invested a lot of time yeah. wisely definitely like it's just the open world looks amazing like, and uh, yeah that, so open world games is something you'd like to explore uh, yeah, yeah definitely because I was like even outside of Forney, I'll just casually play on my own without recording or anything. Like, what was it playing recently? Um, Cyberpunk. Do you use PC? Yeah. Ah, no, they, they, what's your opinion oh. on Cyberpunk? We're oh, playing on really, PlayStation yeah. Xbox. We've done videos on, on We've done videos on this. I'll, 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 I've seen the Phantom Liberty Keanu. one. Did you watch our one? Did you? Phantom Liberty one. Yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, uh, just I just don't get into debates involving PC or console. Just no, 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 but I'm just asking, what are you, what platform are you playing it on? Because uh, what experience are you getting off? I played it on the Xbox Series X. Right. Um, I was never really one for first person open world games. I don't yes. know what it was, but um, I just before that I played The Witcher Three. And yeah, I loved it, and I wanted to play more games by uh, CD Projekt Red. Red. Yeah. And I played Cyberpunk, and I loved it. Like I don't know, like obviously it was very buggy at the start. Start, but yeah. I didn't experience any bugs in it, and I thought I was like the story is great. Like and I just it was a really good one. I think what it is is the get at the demo they gave them all, a really yeah. good demo. Yeah. And it, it wasn't the it wasn't that product when it came out. Yeah. And then it, they put it on last generation consoles, and they should which have, held it back. Yeah. Which held it back. But like some of the mythology, that's what the, I've always said is. 
that people said the world felt kind of dead that there wasn't so yeah. they're expanding that world yeah. you know that way but the, the next one coming up the Phantom uh, Phantom Lib- not Phantom Liberty the Orion Project that is going to be a completely different animal that go away I just have it no, no, no. This is the sequel. A new IP or something, isn't it? It's, an, it's a sequel of it. Oh, really? And the, the thing about Orion is now, it'll probably be five, six years before they get it done. Yeah. They're, but they they're using it. Unreal Engine. Yeah, I heard. So yeah. now they don't have to. They, they use the red engine anymore. They don't have to use the red engine. They just, they're programming it and they've live to live support. Yeah. With them. So they're, they're reckoning that a lot of the mistakes, they'll be able to concentrate more on the <clears> work. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I definitely like. I was. I loved that all like cyberpunk. Like I wouldn't have been into that kind of thing before. Yeah. After playing through it, I was invested through the whole thing. Even watched the anime, and I don't. Watch Did anime. you like the anime? I yeah, did. Yeah. I don't actually. I don't watch anime, but I watched it because I was invested in the whole. It was class. World and all that. And I was hot day. Yeah. yeah. I made the game so anime, I can give you a whole list of stuff to watch. I have to keep something. What yeah. did you think about it? Did you then start when you watched Ed Ru- Edge Runners? Did you then go off and do like do a build of the game, influenced by the Edge yeah. Runners? You've done that. I did. Yeah. That was something to talk about. So, so I, uh, what did I go for? Are you after watching Edge Runners? I got I ended up going for the like more the the, the sand the thing that makes you the Santa Vista. Yeah. Now people have different pronunciations. Yeah. On I, it. I, I, I could never understand. You could basically that. speed around. Yeah, yeah. I had that, and then I ended up having the word. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just going around. How quick did you go through the game? I actually, uh, I, I like, I'm pretty sure I've almost done everything you can do on it. Like, I'm still in the middle of it at the moment, and I'm just doing all the different endings at the moment. And did you change up? Like, the, did you go for the costume and all? Did you get the? Oh, yeah, I'm wearing. Did you get the yellow jacket? Yeah, yeah that's what yeah. I'm wearing at the moment. The yellow jacket from yeah. the show. It's great. And and the, one of the things I actually think is really good what CD Projekt Red are doing is and in, leaving it open to people is the new radio station <clears throat> which is obviously influenced from Grand Theft Auto having the radio station it's people's submissions so they didn't actually go to a record label for the mm. new songs it's people's submissions so they are starting to take it in now whether whether that game it, they're saying if that game continues and they give the right modern support people will be playing that for the next five years yeah I think it's going to end up like when it's going to end up like the Witcher, the Witcher 3 was kind of where you, were, you know what I mean people are just going to always be coming back to it you know because like I, I don't know how I slept on the Witcher for so long because I only played it recently like yeah and I loved that and I went and then binged the Netflix yes yes and then how do you feel about the whole girl situation can you see someone else in his boots Oh, no, I think Henry Cavill's getting done dirty by everybody. Yes, yes. <laughs> but did you not hear what he's up to? Um, I heard he's Warhammer. Warhammer. That's 4, what I heard. 000. Yeah. And he was talk. He's getting involved in the game end of it as well. He's, he's a big gamer, so is yeah. he? He's like he not. He so I've seen a video. He doing up. He built the whole PC himself. I've seen that. Yeah, he's done a live stream. I think wasn't it? And women were <laughs> loving it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, if you did it, it's a annoyance. <laughs> if I don't have a Peter boy. <laughs> I wouldn't say that but yeah yeah. <laughs> but like yeah as a hobby to build something like that people think it's a great waste of money but think, because he was Henry Cavill yeah, yeah I kind of do agree he's being done dirty but I think in the long run this Warhammer project could be and he's talking about going more into the background as well because he yeah. wants that control yeah because he even with the, he doesn't try to do it on the Witcher as well because he's obviously he knows he knows his stuff he knows his stuff about and supposedly they like spoilers you know like when Roach died in the yes they wanted the, the people making it wanted to make it more of a joke and Henry Cavill was like no like you wouldn't be taking like Gerald wouldn't be taking that situation yeah so, yeah you see my view on these things is if you want to try new ideas like the the, 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 the court film and the Scooby Doo if you want to try new ideas make it a new property make yeah. it your own thing I don't have a problem with people but I don't think it's right that people are taking something and, and trying, trying to completely subvert it from what it was mm. yeah. and then want you to clap them. The thing you is, go, it works in certain situations where, like for the example, The Last of Us show, mm. they change a few things around because obviously you're going to expect everything if you Yes, they had to do that. They had to change, you know what I mean? Like that, that makes sense, but still keep it in character with what the game was. The soul of it. Yeah, add on stuff that wasn't in the game, you know, like expand on certain things because obviously they have to say and, and they it. have become like cinema projects like God of War yeah like I never that played is, the game that is literally I only like, played that recently brilliant I've never <laughs> played it's like, like literally watching a film 
Yeah. The like graphics this, are fantastic. The graphics, the scenes, the acting. Yeah. I wonder how they'll do that now. Hopefully they don't ruin God of War. I, 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 I've, I've regretted not playing that from the start. And, I, and I'd love to see... I won't play a game. If I know there's a fifth or sixth one coming out or something like that, I won't go out and play as much as I want it. I won't go out and play because I've never played it from the first one. If you I do, I want to do the whole... But that's with the remaster. She can that's do the same that, with Assassin's Creed. No, I did yeah. it, but I, I went down my way and I done the... I got the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Brilliant. and I love that game yeah, I but I, that's only because I love Vikings at the minute do you yeah. know what I mean so that's why I went and got that but other than that like, like I, the only completion of games that have a set that I finished is the Uncharted Uncharted Brilliant yeah oh what a game yeah. oh what Horn. a set of games can't, yeah, can't beat them like. yeah. and has there been in your opinion now, out of all of them what has been a game that's worked on film TV series or movie for you so yeah at the moment I'm thinking like so far anyways The Last of Us is doing a really good job yeah great actors in it yeah there was one I was actually just thinking of there and now I can't think of it there is one other one that I'm thinking of and it was done really well is it the Sonic the Hedgehog movies they they're actually entertaining now to be fair but it wasn't that one it was a more serious one I can't think of it um, <coughs> alright um, it. God of War Witcher <laughs> No, I wouldn't. Know. I'll come back to it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah no, no that. bother, no bother. And but you have an interest in Philip, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Like that's you know so, one of my end goals. So I think the make question much. we could be asking is: Could we expect more film-like cinematic projects from you in the coming years? Oh, definitely, because um, that's one thing I'm doing at the moment. I'm currently putting money aside to go ahead and make a short film, but I want to. Yes. Make it as best as I can as well. Yeah, and you have a few ideas on what you want to do. You want to do something kind of like your own, like yeah. sci-fi and all that. And it's 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 funny, like with sci-fi, it's it's amazing. People put stuff in sci-fi, and they said sci-fi predicted it, but mm. by actually putting the stuff in sci-fi, like the early Star Trek, where they um, had the mobile phones. It's when you awesome. put that idea out there. It's somebody grows up seeing that and then and tries to replicate it in real life um, in real life there you go okay. have fun an allegorical genre out of all genres mm. now are you thinking animated kind of stuff no I like live action like yeah yeah so I want to like put as much money as I can into it that's what I'm currently trying to say do you like the about. idea of the future being dystopian sort of yeah yeah I'm taking a little bit of inspiration from uh, cyberpunk <laughs> it is brilliant <laughs> yeah that, that generation yeah because yeah. I, I, I have to imagine, like, I, I'll be honest with you, if I had the money and someone said, uh, you know, you're in a car accident and you've lost your arm, but we're going to give you this robotic arm, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be upgraded up to bits. I've, I've always, I'm not going to, my parents will tell you, I've always wanted a robotic arm ever since Star Wars. <laughs> and I know that sounds weird and funny, but I'm, ever since Anakin had that robotic arm, that looked... He looked badass, man. I look at him like, I wish that was me, boy. It would be pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe I'd like to be rebuilt as a full-on robot or something. <laughs> yeah, that's the interesting thing. Where where do you lose your humanity with, with the engaging <clears throat> in the machine? Because even now in society, like, when someone's talking to you, they're talking to you, but they're, they're not. The yeah. Yeah. So it's like, we're going on that the future is this thing connected mm -hmm. to your head. It's connected to your head already. Yeah. No, you know? I think it's only going to get worse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, that's something you'd like to do is, is film and the whole lot. Yeah. And you would so, so you would you would you think of setting it in Ireland or setting it somewhere else? I'm thinking of setting it in Ireland and, um, like, like half the story based in Ireland because obviously I'm going to film here. I'm not going to oh, ship yeah. off somewhere. <laughs> but um, that's the whole idea anyways. Um, have it filmed here and all that and everything done here, Irish actors and all that. Were needed, like, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 that's a great idea. Any actors or anything like that, like, I mean, a whole list of actors that you could work with, yeah, yeah, there's, 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 a, lot, there's a lot of people, yeah, there's a lot of people <coughs> in it, and that's one thing about Irish. I think in times of great difficulty in Ireland, one of the things you do is there's this feeling of just give up and just settle through it, and then other people kind of break out because if you look at the 70s and 80s, the economics were terrible. But the way people rebelled was through music and being creative. And I think that's something that, like, you were telling me earlier that you had met one of the animators from Avatar. Yeah. So it was uh, my next door neighbour when I used to live in a different area. Um, Richard Bainham. Yeah. Um, 
I met him because he was actually like part of my na- where my neighbour lived. Yeah. Um, his family lived there, and I got to meet up with him and all that. We had just had a chat about animating and stuff like that on um, on movies and stuff, and he was telling me the process of how it works and all that. And just the overall, it was just uh, just the conversation about movie making and all that, and that did like put a push in me as well. I was like, I'd love to do this. That must have been a valuable conversation that you yeah. had. Yeah, no, it was, it was there. Like, we got our picture taken then. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's amazing. That's, that's a lad like from Ireland, from Tala, as you said, yeah. that's out there doing it. Yeah. He didn't come from a, a, a Nepo <clears throat> baby or any of this. That's someone that had to work hard to get to where they are. Yeah. It's exactly. amazing. Yeah, I just I thought it was surreal. Like, I was like, you know, <laughs> just, you know, I didn't know what to think when he, the neighbour walked in. He was like, oh, do you want to come in and meet Richard? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, uh, did you did you watch the uh, the Banshees of Vinny Sheeran? I didn't watch it, but I've seen watch loads it. of clips watch of it. it. I've, uh, I've I've seen that one of my mates have seen it, and they were telling me about it, and they were like, "Wait, a man cutting his fingers off." Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And uh, Barry Keown in it. And stuff. Yeah, I've seen yeah. that clip. It's almost won an award or something. Didn't oh it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, but the great thing about that is like. The, the BAFTAs are now we're sitting there going oh yeah 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 they like didn't have anything to really say so now they're just claiming everything Irish again you yeah. know that way they <laughs> uh, are our brightest and best victims. Colin Farrell's from Manchester I think now <laughs> you know <laughs> but yeah so within that game are seeing have you now been attending events so I've actually only went to one event um, which was Gamerfest <clears throat> um, that was and you, uh, would you like to do more yeah so, so if anyone's watching Fuck up. <laughs> so uh, I went to Gamerfest last October and it was actually deadly. You know, I got to meet all the other Irish creators, Twitch streamers, mm. TikTokers, and you know, all that stuff. Mm. And I just thought it was a great environment. It just felt like right at home. And when you met people, did, did then was their talk a collaborate? Yeah, like, collaboration. We're, you know, and they, were, they, were, they were kind of coming to me, they were, you know, asking me about YouTube and all that because they're doing streaming. And I was asking them, I was like, oh, like, you know, I'm thinking about doing some, a little bit of streaming as well yeah. in the future. So, you know I mean? It's kind of a back and forth and all that. And I made some really good friends through it, you know? And then um, we're all going back from Gamerfest 2023 is in May. I yeah. I think it's in May. Wow. So, uh, planning on going back as well, mainly just to meet all the, meet all the lads again. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like, they'll come from all over Ireland, you know? That, that, that's, that's, that, that is the thing that, like, I find with some of the social media that they've kind of, in this country, they've clinged on to a couple of people. But they don't realise there's a lot of other people does it have hard work work mm. and actually reaching outside world. Yeah. Like your audience must be from everywhere. Yeah. Canada, America, they, UK. Top audience. What does your America. analytics say? What country's top? Like goes the down? top two is America and UK. UK. Wow. Ireland is about six down. But that's that's what I hate. It's your own people that won't support you. Yeah, I mean, like I that's the hardest part. Like, yeah, I, I've I've talked to this fella. He's on the YouTube as well. Okay, he, at the minute he's over in Cambodia, like, and he even said it to me. He'll have people from the likes of Thailand or America and stuff watching his channels, but his own friends and family won't sit down and watch his support yeah. his channel. Like. That's it, it's yeah. the, like at the same time I don't blame because Forney actually isn't as big in Ireland. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like a lot of Ireland's top games is like. Call of Duty and um, yeah. Escape from Tarkov. That's a big thing in the Irish gaming scene. Yeah. Like even when I went to Gamerfest, there was no Fortnite boots. It was all Rocket League, some retro games, uh, Valorant, but there was nothing to do with Fortnite. So, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that was due to the fact that it just doesn't have a major audience yeah. over here. Yeah. And regarding your visits towards Gamerfest, what were your thoughts around uh, when you visited that place? So I, d- I didn't really know what to expect. It was just in the RDS, and I had a creator pass, and I just, you know, I went up and I thought, you know, it'd be great, you know, I get to meet a few creators and all that. And I, don't know, I went up with one of my mates, and he knew a few of the others then, because uh, you support them on Twitch and all that. And I bumped into then uh, one of his favorite Irish streamers. His name is Rusher, and then he was like. Well, we need to introduce the two rushes together and all that. <laughs> and then we walked and in. see for Rush, is he? Yeah, he's from uh, Cork. Right, okay. So, yeah, he walked up and he goes, Oh, look, this fella's a rush as well. So he we just walked up and we just squared up to each other. Uh, oh, yeah. Like, nice. Fair play. <laughs> <laughs> the cool atmosphere, yeah. Yeah, no, they're his bag out, by the way. And, and with your channel, like, right, you're on 274,000, you said, isn't it? 72,000. 72,000. <laughs> it wouldn't be far until you get to that one. Probably going to grow up in a, about a month. With that, you got a plaque. I did get a plaque. A and silver plaque. That was the moment when it felt real then. 
You and know, uh, what, what, did someone knock on your door and so shake your hand? And what stuff? happens is when you hit 100,000 subscribers, you'll have to wait a few days because YouTube has to verify your subscribers because there's the likes of people who buy subscribers and stuff like that. You know, yeah. 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 so there's people who do that. And if somebody buys their way to 100,000 subscribers, they're not, they're not going to get it. They're not legitly... How do they identify it that's coming from certain countries or same can, offices or the IP multiple addresses with the IP addresses? Like they can see from... I'm pretty sure it's to do with the links and stuff on where they're being picked up from yeah. and stuff like that. Because if, if you've like ever seen it, you'll know straight away if a channel's fake because if they have a high subscriber count and it's grown, the views are not matching it. But you'll also see that the subscribers go back down because YouTube automatically removes spam they, they consider that spam you, yeah yeah so if they catch an account they remove it they from remove the it from your subscriptions as well though. and so, that's the same with views as well for some people yeah a lot of people do it like so they could have like a big video and then the next video is 22 yeah that exactly. you sign so it, like they verify it over a course of a few days and then once they feel like alright this person's <clears> gotten these legit they uh you'll get a pop up then on your emails or on like your creator dashboard saying you're eligible for a award you just put your name yeah. your channel name and your address sent out then in the post came about a week later I say that was the best moment with you I, like I was just like I remember uh, the postman actually pulled up outside and I got a text saying that your package is on the way yeah and he pulled up outside and I, I came out to the door and it was in a black box that said YouTube over the top of it. And he goes, congratulations, you made it. The postman said to me when he was handing it to me. <laughs> no way. Yeah. So your reward, uh, <coughs> the person, postman Pat, <laughs> postman Pat was, uh, was handed you your reward. Yeah. And then I was like, thanks and all that. And he was like, what do you make? And I was like, gave a video. And he was like, ah, oh, congratulations and all that. And just went off and the rest of his deliveries. But... Then it was just same deal, man. Yeah. That, I'd say at that bit it got a bit emotional for you as well. Yeah, because it was the, just like that, like you wow. said, from twenty sixteen, yeah. it only kind of you kind of started getting your views up and your subscribers up since last February or something. You said, yeah. yeah. So that's six years of hard growing, sweat and tears, like and, yeah. And what it sounds to me like you are the the iceberg, as in people see the success now, but they forget about all that hard work you put yeah. in there. They don't see. They don't they, see they, the they hard work. Yeah. They don't see the hard work, you know? Mm. And it's all the hours you put in, like your late nights you put in doing editing your videos or you're doing your research for your videos and then you're kind of writing, jotting things down on your Microsoft as to like what, what can help simple, with this like. Like mm. it isn't as simple as just put, turning on the camera and just hit yeah. record and see There's what a happens. There's a lot more goes into it than yeah. a, a, like a majority of people think. Some people kind of look at YouTube and they're like, oh, you know, that's just an easy job. But it's not like TikTok. I swear, TikTok is just a quick video and you're done. Yeah, like <clears throat> TikTok does have a lot of work involved in it as well. I can see, you can see it in some people's videos, but not everybody's. Yeah. But there is a lot of people who put a lot of work into their TikTok videos. Mm. But, you know, it, it obviously it's a shorter video, so it takes less time to do. Then for me, obviously doing a ten minute to eight minute or eight to ten minute could video take your whole yeah. night or day. To yeah. Plan. Can I ask how do people around you react? Like, like if your man's talking to you, he goes, "Oh yeah, he's a, he's a YouTuber." Did they? Did you get a proper job? Like, do people tell you to get a proper job and not real? No, um, my mom's very supportive of me. You know, yeah. She's delighted for me. Like I was. Uh, I actually ended up getting so I live in a, a small house in, yeah, yeah. in Jobstown I have a few brothers and sisters and mm. my brother's becoming of age now where he needs his own room I yeah. was in the box room in the house and it was either basically I moved out or find my own place which I could have done yeah. uh, or get the attic converted right so on. I got the attic converted just because I just don't feel ready to move out yet yeah it's so fair. I have then the attic done now in the house and like you know what I mean so just, even if you leave that's your studio yeah it's basically yeah, it's basically yeah. a little studio it's a whole stretch of the house and all that so it's the biggest room in the house and it works perfectly now it's, it's great and then like you were the one that had to deal with the builders and all yeah <laughs> well, it was like, trying to work around the builders because the noise they were making in the attic oh yes yes that yes. was a bit uh, a hassle but it was obviously it was worth it in the end and yeah that's cool man and, and as I said that, like when you when you people that when you when you say to people like people oh what do you do for a living you say you're a YouTuber yeah. do people think you're cutting them yeah I know a lot of people are like what does that mean and I'm like make YouTube videos but, <laughs> do, do you know what I noticed though when you told us just there you're one of the, you're one of the very few people I'd say oh, I, I've talked to anyway you're, you're one of the, the small and I mean small handful like that has turned around and said oh I have a lot of people that's there support me because there's a hell of a lot of people other people out there that that wouldn't get the support you have at the minute like from your mother and your father and whoever else like 
I swear, most people, they're told, oh, well, just go and get a job. Stop, like, you're, yeah. you're just following a fake dream, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we, we had a fellow Philip Contra, and he made a point, and I still remember it to this day when he said to me, he goes, you're building a dream from nothing, like, and then you have someone coming over and trying to tell you you can't do it, like. Yeah, exactly, like, you know, like, obviously, I, throughout school, uh, people found my channel and tore into me and all that. See, that. see, we went to the same school, and to be yeah. honest, for, for something like that, <clears throat> that's the first thing. And because you're yeah, stepping outside, even, the group. At, yeah. even at that, <clears throat> people are, are that stingy in that. I don't care, people are that stingy in that skill. They'd have printed off pictures if they really wanted it yeah. of yours. Of they your put up stuff. the projector and all that when it came into class. See, right? like that, that, and then yeah. they try and make funny, yeah. and then people are laughing about me, But, if but you're into, laughing now, yeah, though. If I bump into the same people, they're like, See, so you're doing well, though. Like, yeah, I was like. Are we users like me? <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's my point now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it, you're looking back there. Like you, you've all the support you have there is great. And as as I said, the support that some other people have told us, like, oh, people don't give them the support. So like, that's yeah. fantastic for you to have. You just, if you need, like, it's all kind of as well. Surround yourself with the right people as well. That's it's about the mindset. Yeah, you have done exactly that, and that kind of led you to where you are now. Yeah, you exactly. Who say you got people who would say. Yes, we would like you to do this. We know that you can do this. And we know that if you believe in it, you'll be able to get there yeah. with the help of us. There's there's an interesting thing. A mate of mine, his two kids went through the same procedure. They watched Dan TDA for mm. hours on end. And they sounded English for a certain age. They're down <laughs> different hairy, like if you have the voice, the Dan TDA voice. Do you think there's kids picking up some of your lingo in England oh, and America still, now? If you get uh, a few comments from like the like some American audience and they're like, "What's he saying?" Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, like, like, like what's he saying? Like, well, the way I speak in my videos, I kind of do put a little bit of a voice on to try and make it sound more clear. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't blame you, yeah. yeah it's good, like, it helps. You know, it helps. Yeah, because otherwise people will be like, what's he saying? Because yeah. you only start using Irish slang. Ah, do you know what I mean? And then I was down yeah. the chap and I did it. That's the way it sounds, did yeah. it? I'm so, sitting on the bog in the game here, look, or, or like, oh, did you see our one over there? Like, they wouldn't yeah. have a clue what they're talking exactly, about. Exactly, yeah. So I'm trying to kind of make it more more accessible for other people, you know, who mm. don't understand what I'm saying. Yeah, totally get you. So I have to put a bit of a voice on there, which you probably heard of in the video. It's <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah <laughs> no, no. You have to. I think, like, people. People think it's intelligent to use big words and no. uh, present themselves in big fashions and the whole mm. grandiose fashions, but to be understood is the most intelligent thing you can do. Yeah. <coughs> really. But, yeah, um, well, look, um, I think we kind of had a wrap for now because yeah. we, don't, we don't want to keep them too long. Yeah. So, I have to say... It's been a pleasure. I appreciate yeah. you coming on, man. Thanks for having me on. Really appreciate yeah, you coming so on. Much. So, um, for anyone watching... Don't be afraid to give iRush always a subscribe, but you probably are already subscribed to his channel because he has 272,000 <laughs> subscribers, like, and he has a silver pack, but that's, that's such an and achievement. And he has stuff in the pipeline. And yeah, 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 so we'll much more. We'll look forward to what he has soon. And hopefully someday we'll probably walk together. Yeah, definitely. Big yeah. time. I'll have to hitch us up for when this movie's getting... There oh, you definitely. go. Yeah. Oh, please, so... No. <laughs> On the bottom of the screen here, I rush always. What's your Instagram and stuff? It's just I rush always. I rush always, exactly. No caps, right? No caps. Oh, no caps. I was about no to make cap. a caps lock joke. So, <laughs> um, yeah, for anyone watching, don't be afraid to subscribe to I rush always. Don't be afraid to subscribe to us as well. It was great having uh, like, Brendan share, on. Subscribe. Like, share, follow, subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your friends. Hit families. the notification bell. Most definitely, please. All right. So, again, Brendan, thanks and... Thanks to the viewers for watching. Thank, Thank you. you. Best luck. Very good night. <coughs>